to bet is what we've been praying. Free to bet is what we've been saying. Free to bet is what we've been praying. Now, saying and praying, praying and saying, we've been doing it for the longest. Young to things are aging, some are not even caring. We're still many of the seed by China's lies. My name is Kalia Mendoza, I'm the grassroots coordinator of Students for Free Tibet International. Today is March 31st um, and it's the International Day of Action. Uh, ITSN, the International Tibet Support Network, along with Avaz and other um, amazing groups are putting together today's Global Day of Action for Tibet. Uh, we're in front of the Chinese consulate here in New York City, uh, protesting China's horrible, horrible treatment of the Tibetan people and the peaceful protests that started on March 10th. Um, it's almost three, uh, three weeks since that's happened and Tibetans inside Tibet are still rising up, uh, protesting China's uh, Ill illegal occupation of their country and um, they're calling for independence. Uh, the Chinese government is, they're, they're slaughtering children right now, killing monks and nuns and uh, it just has to stop. The world community cannot stand by as these people are wiped off the face of this earth just because, um, God, I don't know. yeah, do something, stand up now. is what we've been saying. I'm a campaigner with Avaz.org. Uh, Avaz.org is a non-profit uh, community of global citizens based in uh, 187 countries around the world with 3 million members uh, and they're concerned citizens that share common values about protecting human rights and our environment and uh, uh, promoting peace. We've been running a campaign on, on Tibet uh, for the past two weeks. In, in two weeks, we've amassed 1.5 million signatures on our petition, which is calling for uh, the uh, Chinese president, Hu Jintao, to open up a dialogue with the Dalai Lama. Uh, the response has been absolutely phenomenal. Um, and as part of today's uh, series of global rallies and demonstrations, we're delivering the petition at consulates and embassies around the world. Uh, we're here at the New York installment of the Global Day of Action. It's uh, really wet and miserable, but there's a really great turnout. Uh, we're happy to be here. Uh, this morning we uh, delivered the petition at the embassy in London and at Geneva. And yesterday we delivered one in Rio and Brazil. Uh, following on from this, we're going to continue to grow our petition. We hope to try and get it up to 2 million people. Um, during the Olympics, we hope to do some very visual, high-profile uh, stunts within Beijing, uh, as well as around the world. Um, and finally, we're going to try and open up a very high advocacy line with Chinese politicians and try and actually get a physical hand-to-hand -hand delivery of this petition when it reaches the 2 million mark. Um. So, today all over the world, uh, Tibetans and their supporters from uh, Chile to Canada to New Delhi to Singapore are standing in solidarity with the Tibetans inside Tibet and the struggle for freedom and independence. Uh, we, I'm not, I'm not Tibetan, um, but the issue of Tibet transcends. Uh, it's not, a, it's not just one people's issue. Tibet stands for nonviolence. Tibet stands for peaceful resolution to occupation and colonization. That is why I stand with the Tibetan people. If you believe in nonviolence, if you believe in ending brutal occupations by foreign um, forces, now is the time to stand in solidarity with the Tibetan people in the struggle for freedom and independence. Uh, and if you want to get uh, more involved with the movement, check out our website at www.studentsforfreetibet.org. Tibet will be free. Free Tibet. Is what we've been saying. Free to bed.